Hey guys, welcome back to the 7th Floor Farm YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, and so we have another Thursday devotional. And so what we're just going to kind of be um, talking about is on last Saturday, our cousin Jesse passed away, and it was pretty sad for us, and it was a tragedy for our family, and it was uh, really sad, and so we're just going to be talking about that, and through even hard times, it can end up something good. And we have two choices to make. We could choose the choice that we could follow Jesus and make the good choices, or there's one choice, bad choice, could really happen out like that. Because kind of a backstory of Jesse, um, you know, he was only 19 when he passed away, and that just sounds way too young for someone to pass away. Because, you know, it's a little bit easier sometimes when an older person passed away because, you know, they've lived their life out, and they lived a good life, and they're ready to go, you know. But he was only 19, so that's kind of a tough one to understand is that he had to go when he was 19 years old and didn't even have half of his life lived out. But we know that Jesse loved the Lord. He went to church. He um, loved helping people understand the word. He prayed. He, you know, he did all those things and he didn't just do the motions, but he loved the Lord with all of his heart and was ready to do anything for him. But he made one bad decision and in the end that ended up killing him. And so even though that might be you know, very sad for us down here. We have to understand that he went up to heaven and um, that we don't just need to focus on us and missing him, but we know that he's up in heaven and that he's in a better place. Just like in Genesis chapter 22 and chapter 23, it's talking about Abraham and his son Isaac, about how Abraham had so much trust in God that he, that he was gonna kill his own son for God. But then Angel came down and told him, no, look, there's good over there. There's a sheep caught that has its horn caught in a briar bush. Just, just like even though something bad may happen, good will come out of it. And also another thing is, what are we going to do with it? We could think of poor, poor me. Well, we're never, our life's never going to be the same. Or we could go, this was for a good reason. God ha was in control. He knew that this was gonna be for a good reason. He had a plan for what was happening. And at least we know that Jesse is up in heaven with God now, and that he's even in a better place than down on earth. And so we just have to trust the Lord and know that he has a plan that he'll work through all of this, and that uh, maybe some of his friends that he was with will see that uh, it's not a game to play because life can be so suddenly gone and uh, different stuff like that, that we need to focus on the good that there could be even when there's something that's so bad like this. So that's what our family is working on as we're going to the funeral soon and everything. We just have to learn to focus on the Lord and know that He's gonna work this all for the good and uh, that He didn't do this to make us sad or just because He was mad at us. He didn't do that to punish us for any reason. And guys, sometimes having a really close close relationship with people can turn out and even more hurt but God's not a God that's just going to stand back and watch people die he's going to help you through these rough times so what choice are you going to make are you going to keep feeling sorry for yourself walking down the path of oh poor me or are you going to walk in the path of lightness and you know that God is doing this for a good reason so I would choose the path to walk down that God has a good reason for all of this. So, sorry that this was a little bit of a heavier devotional, but thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.